I was gonna say, don't worry, but <laughs> don't worry, honey. This is just a really good, tight, <laughs> but boom. <laughs> I get off to it. Well, my throat really hurts now. Uh, let's see. I wonder why. Uh, I actually don't need anything, so uh, fuck it. I'm just gonna round out my stats. A day during recess, you start a half hour rave, goes full crazy. No idea, I it's been about 300 people, summon demons, and yeah, give fun. Despite everything else happening around you, you're just solving some Sudokus. But your mind is constantly going back to Damien. Stupid sexy Damien and his idiotic short temper. Yeah. You think he could even be your sweetheart, but he seems more focused on being angry 24-7. For God's sake, he's the kind of guy that could get angry at a banana. <laughs> As a matter of fact, your daydreaming is interrupted by the feral screams of Damien, who seems to be insulting an actual banana. <laughs> you stupid yellow fruit! What's your deal? Do you think you're richer in potassium than me? No one is richer in potassium than Damien fucking Levy! Okay. Is he even for real? Stupid sexy Damien. <laughs> no, you need to put a stop to this nonsense before it escalates somehow into arson. <laughs> it's okay, I'm just... Sure, let's go with that. Oh, cool. I eat the banana! You get closer to Damien in a very cool and quiet way. Huh? Why don't you mind your own business, noob? But you don't mind your own your business. You eat the banana instead! What? Ah! Oh, look at Damien. He's focusing his shit again. Yeah, he was bullying that banana, but it seems he's all bark and no bite. Not like Brian, huh? Indeed, Brian seems to be all bite for sure. Yeah, you ate that skin and all. Kinda sexy. Yeah, wait. It is alluring, being all bite, not the bullying. Bullying is never alluring nor sexy. <laughs> Hell yeah. True that, unless you're bullying a banana. I mean, who cares? That's just stupid. Damien is stupid. Stupidly sexy? Hashtag winners don't bully bananas. They just eat them. I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> Hashtag Damien is a stupid banana bully. <laughs> Gah! Not again! This is it! This is the last time you dare fuck with me, you bastard! On prom night, we're going to share a very special dance. Spoiler alert, it will hurt. It will Oh, that's a prom fight on prom night. Damien versus Brian, instant classic. Interesting. I might attend. Damn right. You all have tickets to watch how I reduce Brian's bones into a sad, shapeless pulp. Sass. Free tickets. Hashtag prom fight on prom night. And so you've led yourself to your own potential death. Nice. Yeah, at least you gain plus three boldness for doing so of your own volition. All right. Yep. God, my throat really hurts. I can't imagine. It really hurts a lot. <sighs> yeah, gain two creativity. Oh, woe is me! Alas, and alack a day. Miranda throwing a hissy fit? Must be Tuesday. Still, what else are you going to do? Study? Ha! Ah! Oh, hello! Don't mind me. I'm simply enduring the most horrible injustice to happen to anyone ever. Again. Waiting in line? You shan't believe such cruelty would happen to your own at your own school, but just today, Miss the Luckness Monster told me that I shall be receiving a B plus in her class. A B 
B+, and all because I sell them at 10? Does she not understand the importance of my daily royal manicures? Uh, yeah, fair point there. Manicures are important. Such a horrid grade will surely cause Father to cease paying for my seahorse insurance as punishment, and then how shall suitors call upon me? Oh, the tragedy! If only someone knew of a way I could. I don't know, perhaps. Murder the teacher? Break into Principal Giant Spider's office, access his private computer, and alter my grade. That too. Well, uh, the option is smarts or charm. I wonder what stats I have for them. <laughs> what a splendid idea. Crying is what I'm third best at. What's the first and second? Miranda goes into Principal Giant Spider's office and without missing a beat, bursts into tears. P -p Principal, everything is horrible. This could be because I uh, I'm having my monthly merch trouble. It's gonna gloss over there. Panicked, Principal Spider grabs a tissue in each of his eight arms and shoves them all at Miranda before fleeing outside. With him gone, you pop up the suspiciously large, uh, Valley Smarant... Alice? Felice. Miranda brought in with her and hacked the system in no time. Oh, look at that. I have an A+. I guess I underestimated my own amazingness. I am very surprising by this... Uh, very surprised by this development. I suppose as long as we're here, I might as well fill this thumb drive with top secret school security footage. No reason! Yeah, none. That seems on the level. Definitely don't ask any follow-up questions. Just gain three boldness and be cool! Be cool, man. Be cool! Oh, my boldness is starting to level out again. Ah. She's an animal. Jaguar. Player is based on how plausible it is that the selected animal has no soul at all. They both have no soul. Right. Turns out humans have less of soul. Fair. If only we'd gone with a red animal. Exactly. All right. Not like it matters since it's lunchtime, though. Was there a the red raccoon zapping? Oh, the. Like panda? Yeah, it's called a red panda, but it's not related to the panda family at all. As you approach Scott and Miranda's table, you see that the entire table is covered in exotic silverware. Oh, what's this one for? That's the forking spoon. It's a spoon for picking up your forks so that you don't have to touch them with your fingers. Uh, and that one? That's the tu tu tuning fork. It's for making sure all your other silverware is tuned to A minor as is proper. What? That's not how a tuning fork works. What about this one? That's the dairy knife. It's for milk. I mean cheese? Wow! Do people ever invent new silverwares? All the time, but none of them are any good. It would take a genius of true uh, subtlety to improve on the existing canon. A genius of true subtlety? Genius and subtlety are your middle fucking names! You suggest the ultimate new silverware. I assume that's Miranda. Yeah. A harp for salad? Why has no one thought of this before? Because it's hard to eat a salad with a harp? No, 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 Scott, you don't get it. God bless your soul, though. <laughs> You're a good boy. Creighton, who said anything about eating? Isn't that what silverware is for? Perish the thought. The true purpose of silverware is to give your hands something to do while you elegantly avoid your food. And nothing is more elegant than playing a subtle. <coughs> oh God! <coughs> it's all coming back to me. Oh. Lament on a harp while your serfs eat your salad for you. My serfs will finish my lunch for me. I'm off to have a harp commissioned. Miranda takes you harp shopping with her. It's a real bonding experience. 
Afterwards, you both ignore a salad together at a fancy restaurant. Um, sure. I'm so tired of doing... Uh. What are you doing? Uh. You mess with me and then you try to sit at my table? Go away and get ready to die, fuckhead! You just eaten in the corner in silence. Will you die soon? Who knows? Meanwhile, nothing else happens. And if you think that uh, this is unfair, next time don't try to sit at the table of a person who has expressed a desire to murder you. I'm gonna be real, I didn't see that coming. Totally not a smart move. Wow, you didn't get any options. I, he did threaten to kill me. Yeah, I didn't see that coming. I, oh God, I'm tired of talking. Pick a brand. I'm good. I'm sure. I'm good. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Alright, that later. Alright, she's a brand. Sure. Smuckers. But it's about as silly a mascot for the selected brand would be. If the selected brand already has a mascot, compare it to the imaginary mascots of the other brands. Yeah. Hate you. <sighs> Whatever. Oh, you're right. Uh. <laughs> Hold on, can you pull up stats real quick? Uh. Uh. I. Oh, never mind, you don't need it. That's cool. Right, you're a sexual tyrannosaurus. Start a half hour rave goes full crazy. Fine, magical Latino cat. Keep going. You didn't remember you. Yeah, you didn't remember you suck at dancing. She decided to go all in and pretend to new dance. Apparently, it's called the Groovy Musaka. He all looks at you and he asks you to teach him the Groovy Musaka. Half the party is following your steps. You gain too fun. Oh my word, what a wonderful, beautiful, exciting day. I hope someone can share in my joy. Would that be me? My great aunt sea monster, Unholy Terror, McCracken Face of Cthulhu, has just received an award for her work with shipwrecks. She's now one of their leading causes. Oh. I want to send her my congratulations, but no one from the Postal Service will go near her lair for fear of their lives. Oh, if only some brave hero would volunteer to deliver this important and time-sensitive, uh, missive. Why is a letter of congratulations so time-sensitive, you ask? Well... It's because of... Well, you see, it's that these are very special congratulations with instructions to... Do something congratulatory for herself, you know? Just get her the letter. Uh. All right, keep going. You'll probably want to go with uh, hire Scuba the Underwater Taxi Service to deliver the letter. You uh, you ain't got the boldness for it. dynamite the toilet. With just a touch of a button, you're able to call a scuba diver to your school. You know, second. I feel like I have to sneeze. All right, cool. You give him very specific instructions to the latitude and longitude, but conveniently live out the part about the sea monster. 
And a few days later, you see the fruits, demur, of your labor. Oh, you wonderful person, the letter reached great Aunt C Monster, a whole unholy terror, McCracken face, oh, Cthulhu with no problem. Yay. And she was ever so grateful for the delicious midnight snack. <laughs> she said she would act on the letter immediately. Well. Act on the congratulations that I sent by thanking me, which she did. So it's all over and neatly wrapped up now. Nothing further happening here. Yup, seems entirely legit. Great Aunt Sea Monster and Holy Terror and Cracker Face of Kuthu gained a crunchy victim of gig culture and you had gained three more charm. Um, I, sure. I, on the other hand, I. This is charm, right? Yeah. Day Epic Dodgeball takes place. Match so intense, team so into it, decided to raise the stakes by betting part of your charm against part of the other team's charm. The commitment amazes your whole team, and their spirit is fueled by determination. Finally, you win and take two charm from the other team's leaders. She's now a bit less fabulous. God help me. Stott and Vera shoulder each other out of the way to try to get uh, to you first. Hey, I heard Damien talking about how he's going to beat you up at prom. <laughs> yeah, mess him up. What? Hey, I don't believe in gratuitous violence, unless I'm a werewolf. In which case, one time I ate a kindergartner. You're right, Scott. I should look into this upcoming carnage and think of a way of monetizing it. Tickets? I heard Polly saying Damien was giving away free tickets to to, wa to watch him skinning Brian alive. Such a lack of business perspective of dis is discouraging. It's not nice. Why would I receive re free tickets? Maybe that maybe the not so nice part is the part about you being skinned alive. Anyway, Brian. What are you doing about this? Might I interest you in some Oberlin life insurance? This might be a good time to get a policy. Yeah, Brian. What are you going to do about this? Won't you give us free tickets to watch Damien skin you alive? Don't be rude, bro. Yeah, bro. That's a good question. What are you going to do about this? Seems like you're pretty screwed. But maybe if you play your cards right, you can convince one of these two to teach you how to fight. Oh, boy. Well, you see here... Oh, that's you. I was like, why did my why is Scott teaching me how to blow up a toilet? I could actually probably do that. Actually, my charm and money are the same stat level. That's ironic. Yep. So instead, here's what I'm gonna do. Vera, I'm gonna give you a hundred bucks and you're gonna teach me your secret Oberlin combat style. Hmm. Done. I mean, I don't even need your money, but I like when other people give it to me. It's kind of arousing. Now, here's a fun thing about this route. I did not have to get this one right. All I had to do was get the previous two right. Really? It will just affect the outcome. If they don't teach me how to fight, Damien's just going to kick my ass. He's going to whoop you. But since I have, we're going to get a different outcome. Maybe. Oh boy. You'll see. Okay, I'll train you. Anyway, I can place bets in your favor and make lots of money by rooting for the underdog. Whoa, bro! Nira is actually super good at fighting. She's clearly bringing you from underdog to overdog. <laughs> but is she bringing me to updog? Is she bringing you to scup dog? I prefer updog. Updog? Yeah. Updog. Uh, updog. Up dog. dog. Up dog. Up dog. I'm sad you didn't fall for it. I don't. Fuck you. Yes. Prepare to get really fierce and really nasty. After that, you have a very cool training montage where you learn lots of dirty tricks like throwing sand in your opponent's eyes or hiding a bowie knife up your sleeve. Of course. Pocket sand. Pocket sand. Now you feel ready to face stupid sexy Damien in the prom fight on prom night. It'll be bloody. You gain plus two boldness and one smarts. The monster prom awaits! It's time. Hmm. 
Let's do this! Yo. Prom? Sure! How could I say no to my beautiful accomplice? What? What do you mean by what do I mean by accomplice? I mean it was it was clear all this time, right? I stole some eggs from that sea monster, then my serfs cooked an omelette and you took pictures of the water polo team eating it. And remember when we totally stole the address of the whole team from Principal Giant Spider's computers? Computer? Such good times. Then it was just a matter of delivering the pictures and the address to the sea monster, who by my calculations will soon be hunting all of those unpolite peasants down. They rejected me and I'm sure it has always been clear that you do not reject Miranda Vanderbilt. So in a way, it was sort of all on them, right? It has been so sweet of you, my charming knight in shining armor. I can't get reminded. Why are scary? Damn. You feel a bit bad, both for being an accomplice to multiple man to multiple manslaughter and for fearing re feeling weirdly aroused by Miranda's ruthlessness. I mean, you're not wrong. <coughs> but love is blind, so, so a date it is. You have a delightful evening, and in the end, isn't that what counts, isn't it? Yeah, it's a good time to mention that this is called the Revenge Route. Yeah. By the end of it, Miranda even invites you to her house to show you the corpse of the water polo team, which she's had stolen from their funerals. You're still troubled by the fact that Miranda kind of excites you, but obviously Miranda isn't troubled about being excited by a successful Merciless Vendetta. So you end up celebrating your victory and uh, feasting over what's left of her enemies. Have fun censoring this on YouTube. I don't have to. Um, sure. In your cockiest voice, you remind Damien the two of you have a date on prom night. Yeah, fucker, it's a date. Prom night arrives and your brawl is even scheduled in the official prom promgram. I hate that. A crowd is ready and waiting for your fight. You crazy bastard. And damn, do you start fighting. All the advice proves useful and you put up a hell of a good fight. Punch after punch, you start to see the thrill in Damien's eyes. He seems almost ecstatic to have found a worthy adversary. Deep down inside, you know violence is never the answer. Yet all the sweat and blood and physical contact is driving you crazy. Then, in the middle of that intense tango of violence, you start making out. Apparently a good beating was the ultimate turn-on for Damien. How is it that everything is ultimately about sex when it comes to young people? People start leaving because apparently witnessing free violence is okay, but witnessing a very intense and physical demonstration of love is somehow wrong. So you take your prom fight to the bathrooms. Hell yeah. It turns out that somehow the sex is even more violent than the fight. Some of your ribs end up broken, but damn, was it worth it. Wow, that's a hell of a position. Yeah, so because I learned how to fight, I fucked him. They do be that way. So, I'm glad that both of our routes coincided with uh, brutal violence. Hell yeah. Except for mine involved more bodies. I fucked mine. I fucked the one who, given, who tricked me to this. God damn, violence does not turn me on. Turn this on, I learned. Yeah. Miranda used her vast knowledge of her serfs to get a job handpicking the best serfs for other people. Unsurprisingly, she ended up leaving her serfs to do the work. Damien loved fire to the very end. Unfortunately, that wasn't a super legal affair and he ended up in prison for arson. Fortunately, prison was flammable. Vera kept being fierce, strong, and stunning. Some haters once said adult life would put that mean bitch in her place. But you know what? Vera ended up making adult life her own bitch. Unlock seven new images. Woo. We got nothing else. Damn. How do we get those other items? Just gotta keep beating. Well, here's the thing. You have to do right. Uh, so you have to get, like, you have to sleep with every person. With every character.
Polaroids. Oh, I've already... Damn it, I already did Brian with uh, Damien. Fuck. Oh, there you are. Still mad that my Polaroid for uh, Liam didn't open, didn't unlock. Unless, was I playing as uh, Vicky during that? I don't remember. I'll have to rewatch the footage, which is weird because I already edited it. What we got for art? Hell yeah. Hey, look. What just happened recently? Oh god. Someone's gonna die. A fun! God, I love this. I'd ship it. Something about the teeth on Miranda that really puts me off. Wait, wait. Plague? <laughs> yeah. All right, well. I'm gonna go get water, so my throat really hurts. So until then, I'll catch you all later. Asta! Hey guys, thanks for watching this video. If you like this video, be sure to leave it a like. And if you want to see more of my future content, be sure to hit the subscribe button. And to stay up to date with all of the releases that come out daily, be sure to click that bell. And if you're feeling a little bit generous, why not check out my Patreon page? Link is down in the description. And as always, until the next video, hasta.